Hi, Jeff Simon here for Social Flight. Now, usually when we're talking about aviation safety, we're talking about all the things that you can do with maintenance and equipment to keep yourself out of trouble and to keep your engine and aircraft flying at their peak performance. But when all else fails, if an emergency does happen, your last line of defense is your ELT system, which is the key to getting rescued. Now, for the life of this aircraft that we've had, our A36, it's had the standard 121.5 ELT system, and those still work, but they are not very accurate, and it can take rescuers a very long time to reach you. In addition to that, they're also not legal for use in other countries such as Canada and other places around the world that have all moved to the modern system. So we've taken it upon ourselves to modernize our aircraft, and we are going to install this Artex ELT. ELT-1000 system. Now there's some great things about this Artex ELT-1000. One of them, of course, it is a modern ELT-406 design. And so that means it's going to use two satellite systems to much better triangulate your position and locate it. It also has a data input for your exact coordinates if you can feed that from an internal GPS system built into the aircraft. So that makes it for really getting rescuers to your spot as quickly as possible. It also has a built-in lithium battery that lasts five years before needing replacement. That's a big help as well, and it is much lighter than the original system that we had in the aircraft. And we always like gaining useful load or anything that can affect speed. Now, speaking of speed, we always like to do a little something to help our aircraft as we move and enhance it in places like that. And one of the things, we've always never been a big fan of this ELT uh, antenna that we have here on the side of the aircraft. So we were curious. We were wondering what's underneath this dorsal fin. And when we removed all the screws and removed the dorsal fin out there, what we found below it was a hole and a mounting point that was for previous ELT. So we are going to take the ELT antenna that comes with this uh, ELT 1000 from Artex, and we are actually going to mount it here on the tail and put it inside of the plastic fairing. Now, carbon fiber fairings or metal fairings, of course, would be blocking the signal, but this is just a plastic fairing. And one of the advantages to that, of course, is that antennas can easily be buried in it. And so this old antenna will go away, the new antenna will get mounted into place, it'll all get hidden, and we'll have a much smoother look. I kind of doubt we'll be picking up too much speed because of that, but it's nice to have no matter what. So let's get going and take a look at the process of putting this Artex ELT-1000 on our Beechcraft Bonanza. Okay, so we're here in the tail, and it's, uh, it's a cramped environment to work, to say the least. So we've already installed the antenna on the top, and what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take out this old cable, we're gonna put the new one in, and then we've removed the old ACK uh, ELT from this shelf, and we've put the new unit on it. So it's actually gonna be pretty quick to do the installation since it's a direct fit for the ACK ELT that it's replacing. And then we'll have a brand new 406 ELT in place. So let's get this old cable out of the way, get the new cable in, and get the mounting to take place. This is the new ELT. It's all mounted on the bracket, ready to get assembled, and it has the buzzer here as well. 406 ELTs also have this requirement to have an audible buzzer that allows you to know that it has been set off. So if it's been inadvertently set off or intentionally, it does give you some feedback, letting you know it's going without having to tune, tune a radio to it. So we'll get this mounted, and we'll get ourselves out of this tail cone.
one of the other things that's really nice about the way that this RTX ELT 1000 is set up is that it cannot be inadvertently activated until it has this plug attached. And that's because there's a couple pins that need to be grounded before the unit actually is armed. And um, even uh, uh, in, its, in its natural state when it has it, nothing can make it go off if the switch were going, if it didn't have the switch. So we're all set. This plug will now make it uh, possible to be activated. We're going to put this into place and uh, attach it to the unit, which is very straightforward. Doesn't even require any tools. And then we take our antenna cable that we just wired up. Get that attached, that's all set. And then lastly, what's great is that uh, these uh, systems, both the uh, pre-existing um, unit as well as the, the new RTX ELT, use this telephone cable as a way of wiring. And so to finish the wiring, really all we have to do is plug it in and we are then ready to go. Everything is all set. We'll tidy this up with a quick uh, zip tie and then we'll be ready to go. And the last step of this whole process, it's all set. We could actually test it. And and we are all set. Well, that's it for a very easy and slick upgrade to Social Flight's A36 Bonanza with the Artex ELT-1000. We can now fly to Canada. We can now not have uh, worries about an emergency that we are going to get found much, much easier with a 406 megahertz ELT. And so very excited about that. Next, we're going to take another one of their products. This is the Artix ELT345. There, you can see that. And uh, it's a self-contained, very simple, small unit that's gonna go in our Titan T51D Mustang build. Look for that video next here at Social Flight. And be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free Social Flight mobile apps for Apple and Android devices. We have tens of thousands of aviation events and destinations, so many things to do, so get out there and fly just checking socialflight.com or those apps to get a mission and a cool place to go. And while you're flying, you could win in our Fly to Win Challenge. We are always giving away prizes. All you need to do, have the mobile app and check in. You get on the list to win one of our prizes as well. So, so much fun with that. And of course, every Tuesday evening is Social Flight Live with wonderful guests that inspire all of us from general aviation. Until next time, I wish you all blue skies.